Hey guys, I'm Elegant and Chew, and finally, we're back with more Pokemon White 2, and I'm so sorry it took me so long to load this again. I've just been so busy with college stuff, and I know it's a stupid excuse, because it's the excuse I always have, but college is a difficult time. It's, it's a lot of work, and I'm lazy, so yeah, there's that as well. I also tried to, I'm trying to finish Pokemon Black before I finish college uh, for the year, so that other someone can actually start a new Let's Play and get something done for once, but we all know... What happens when I say I want to get something done? It doesn't quite happen, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try and change my ways and become a better person and a better YouTuber for it. So yeah, I don't remember what I was doing. I was in this cave. I don't know what, how much of it I've done, how much I haven't done. I, I just think that, you know, it, it doesn't really matter what I do in here. I think, I think I'm just going to move on from this. I'm going to battle my way through, my way through it here, and I, I think I've done a relatively decent amount of it. I don't even think there's that much to do, in all fairness, but whatever. Um, my main big scary exam is now over, the one that I have not had a class in, and it was further math, so um, yeah, I'm proud of myself. I, th I feel like I did okay in that, so I think I can concentrate YouTube a little bit more. My exams are not over, I'm like halfway through them, but the thing is, I have a week off next week before the rest of my exams, so I'm going to get all my stuff together then and things shall be good. Uh, hopefully I should be back to uploading a little bit more. And this summer I have a few little plans I want to do and I'm not going to reveal them because I feel like, well one of them I I'm going to reveal just is a bit of a co-op. Uh, not sure if we're, I'm allowed to reveal anything more than that but hopefully that'll be pretty fun. Uh, but additionally I have something else that I haven't quite like, finalised whether I'm going to be able to do perfectly. Uh, so I'm not going to reveal that either. But when the time comes, it will be pretty damn awesome, and I um, think I should send someone else out here rather than be weak to everything. So I'll send out Chibi. Oh no, no, Chibi's level 44. I completely forgot that Chibi was like the the god of my team. That's so much higher level than everyone else. Uh, so OCD is lagging behind the levels a little bit. So let's send her out. Him out. Oh my god, I have a, a female machine on myself on my game. I've been playing Pokemon White 2 finally. Uh, in real life, because I've been putting that off as well, like, I got ahead of Pokemon White 2 um, on my Let's Play, this Let's Play, ahead of my actual game, and that was a bad thing, that I should not have done that, because I got confused what was happening and stuff. I finally had the uh, initiative to go and play ahead of my DS, though, and it's fun. I, I got up to um, Thingy Magic City, because I'm so good with names. What's it called? Marlon's, Marlon's City. That place, you know, we'll, we'll get there in a few episodes and I'll be able to say it's this place. Uh, so yeah, we're back with White 2 and I hopefully won't screw up like absolutely everything else I do. Uh, to, but we all know what happens when I say that. I, I screw up because that's what I do with everything else. I don't quite know my way around here because it's been a while since I've gone through this place. I'm pretty sure the exit is somewhere to the right or something, possibly. Uh, oh, oh wait, no, we have to keep on going further down. I realised we'd cut into the centre then. Um, do we have a... Yeah, okay. I was thinking, we're not really running into new world Pokemon here. Do we have a repel up? Because uh, I've got into the habit of not buying repels lately, and it's not been a good thing. Uh, is this the way? No, this isn't the way out. I think this is some a free item that we possibly may have got. And it's been so long, a whole month has gone by uh, since I last recorded. Oops. That was bad of me. Uh, because the month, the, the seasons change with months. At least you get to see the same place with different scenery. Because I'm so good at showing off the game, but I, I can show you guys the the world in the different seasons. Because I'm so damn slow. Is there nothing like I'm gonna use my um, my thingy jig? What do you call it? My dowsing machine. Um, just to see because why would they make this if there was no hidden item? It's just screaming hidden item, and I, I don't miss it, because it looks like it might be a good hidden item. And... There's no hidden item. What? Oh, wait, is it meant to just show you that thing? Um, I don't know where that is, though. I guess I'll just have to ignore it for now. And I'm going to turn off my dowsing machine, because it gets annoying, and I, I, I do use it in my actual game, but it's very difficult to use on an emulator and to mess about with. Have we battled you? Oh, I don't care. I'm just going to skip you. Anyway, and um, there's a place, let's look around a little. What? So what, she wants us to go down into here? Um, what is it? 
What is this place? It feels very strange. Could this be the place where the uh, sorry? Could this place be the place where Reversal Mountain started from? The lair of the Pokemon Heatron? Heatron is a Pokemon with magma like blood flowing through it. Well thanks for that. That was a nice little story. Not Bianca. Why the heck are you even following us? Because I don't think even anything happens at all. So unless I completely miss it in my game. Okay, you're not about us, that's good. So we can just get the heck out of here and move on. To Undella Town, I believe it is. Uh, I really don't think there's... Oh. <laughs> Apparently, I don't remember the way out. And it looks like that might be the way out there. Although we have a double battle here. Or a single battle. That would have been a double battle. That would have been a good thing. Because uh, then we can just enslave Bianca's Pokemon. And make her do all the work for me. So that would be good. But... I hate it when I do that. When I miss double battles. And battle them one at once. I'm just like, no! that would Because I love double battles, personally. I know a lot of people don't like them. And a lot of people don't like triple or whatever battles, um, triple or rotation battles, that's what they're called. Uh, but personally, I don't know, I do like them. Um, well, uh, triple battles and, and um, uh, rotation battles, they're okay. I like them, but uh, I do prefer double battles. They're like the most fun thing ever because you can come up with all the tactics and stuff. I don't know, I guess since I'm a Hoenn, oh my god, they did so much damage. That was a bad thing. Hopefully we can take it out in one though, or else I'm kind of screwed. Uh, so, yeah, I, I started with, well I didn't start with Hollow Man actually, I started with um, Pokemon Yellow. Oh, come on. So close to taking you out. That just sucks. But uh, yeah, I started with Pokemon Yellow, but my, I guess the majority of my childhood was, was sort of um, Hoenn based. I don't know, I don't know, Hoenn's always been my region, I've always loved the anime and the games, even though I started playing Pokemon years before and I loved them. Kanto Johto, I never really got, I, I never got the games which was bizarre, I always watched the anime. I always thought there was some weird Kanto spin-off, I never understood what he was, because it, it kind of was a weird Kanto spin-off. I don't know if you ever uh, watched the original Pokemon series and then sort of was a bit blind to um, the whole thing because you were so young, you didn't quite get the idea of brand new parts in the series. The Johto region seemed really bizarre to me and the Pokemon was just... I, I didn't quite understand what it was because I knew the Kanto region and then I got to learn, learn the Hoenn region stuff. But the point with the Johto region is that it was kind of a, a spin-off because it had like 100 Pokemon, not 150. It's always kind of been the um, the smaller of the regions just because it was an, a Kanto edition. Because, fun fact, if you didn't know, that Kanto and Johto were originally meant to be put into one game together. Or at least a lot of the features of a lot of the Pokemon were meant to be put in together. The whole of the Kanto region and the Johto region, I don't think, would have been put together. Um, I think the whole Kanto region was probably made to be put um, with it. But only part of the Johto region and some Johto region ideas. Oh, great, we had to miss, didn't we? Uh, but they must have... Uh, well, what actually happened is that the game card, or the game, or whatever, didn't actually have enough memory to uh, fit the whole game on that we were planning to make, so we decided to take out the whole, like, Johto chunk of it, I guess the second part they were going to make it, and they just made it into the Kanto region. Sorry about that, I got interrupted, um, I can't remember what I was saying, I think it was something about the uh, Kanto and the Johto regions and them being made to be the same thing at first. Yeah, they, they split the regions in half just so they could fit the Kanto region into one game and then they took the ideas that they took it taken out and sort of made it into a brand new game itself. So, pretty cool facts with Elegant and Shu, yes. Uh, <laughs> switch to Swarmland just because um, Flippers are a decent level now. And we want to spread the levels out. Although, speaking of spreading the levels out with a Chibi level 44, you know, Super duper high level Pokemon. That's a flying squirrel. You know, the one Pokemon you would think that you would get a high level on. A flying squirrel that can't even evolve. <laughs> uh, whatever. Flying squirrels are awesome, especially electric flying squirrels. Cannot beat that. Uh, so, yeah, over the summer, like I said, I'm gonna do some extra stuff. Um, I, I did say I, I didn't want to reveal what I was gonna do because. I'm just, I'm excited now and I want to reveal what it is. No, Flipper, you're not evolving. No, Flipper. Stop evolving. 
I always get so scared that it will evolve even though I'm spamming the B button. I, I don't know. Weird fear or whatever. Um, but yeah, if any of you are Let's Players or know any Let's Players that do Nintendo Let's Plays, not Pokemon, uh, sort of the main... Oh, so we can have to go through all these... Oh my god. This is why I hate caves in Pokemon. Because all the damn trainers that just have to battle you, but also Zubats. At least we don't have Zubats in this game. I can't complain. From the Generation 1, we've been haunted with Zubats. That was the one good thing about Unovan, that we got rid of Zubats, despite the fact they brought in Wubat. Now, Wubat, the point with Wubat is it's not as annoying because it doesn't come up as much as Zubat. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah. No, no Zubats, so I can't really complain. Again, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. Uh, so many distractions, and uh, what was I talking about again? Zubats or something along those lines. Yeah, so I'm glad Unova doesn't have Zubats. It's one good thing about the Pokemon in the Unova region, because I kind of think they kind of got out of hand with making the Pokemon. And what I mean by this is look at Trubbish and look at Garbodor. I mean, come on. Making, making rubbish bags into Pokemon. <laughs> Although, the, the kind of thing that I find kind of funny about it is the fact that it's meant to be based, well, it's the, the Japanese ideas of what America is. And they made rubbish bag or trash bag for you Americans Pokemon monsters. So, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Anyway, I think I was talking about, or I was going to talk about the um, Let's Plays with Nintendo. Uh, so, if you don't know, Nintendo have apparently, like, uh, I don't know what to call it, they've not made some copyright claims. Um, you probably could call them copyright claims, but they're not taking videos down. So if you play any, like, Zelda games or it's basically pure Nintendo, Nintendo-owned sort of games, uh, then you can't get money out of it. So what Nintendo said is that they're going to allow these videos to stay up, but they're going to take all the profit from that video. Even if you don't get profit anyway, they're going to just put adverts on your videos and take the money from it. Which I think is pretty damn wrong. The fact that they're just taking all the credit for your video. I mean, yeah, I admit the game is there. You know, they're, they're what they own, it's there copyright, they deserve some money for it because you're playing the game. You're earning money for it, you, they, they should definitely get some. Although I think they do actually get money already. Um, I'm pretty sure with certain partners, that's what you're meant to do, is with certain partners, they pay the companies that are uh, the games you play money for the usage of the videos. So they, they sort of take part of your um, money you make from the adverts and things and they pay the companies so you can make the videos uh, but the, the point is that a lot of people just completely miss that YouTubing isn't like making videos of video games on YouTube isn't just oh you know I'm gonna use a video game and whatever you have to sort of commentary edit for hours and now I, I know I know this with my first let's play I spent hours of video editing because I put all the Pokemon in every single route and I use Microsoft Word to do it in all honesty because I, I didn't have the magical software uh, that everyone else seems to have these days. I don't have Camtasia. Well, I didn't have Camtasia back then and I didn't have, uh, well I still don't have um, Sony Vegas because I can't afford that and I don't really want to pirate it because I don't personally feel like it's right so that I should create content with uh, copyrighted material, however ironic that is with the video games. Uh, but the point is with video games, it, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't classify it as illegal because, or it's not wrong, and I don't think it's illegal, because, uh, you know, you're not distributing the video games, you've bought the video game, or you're not, you're not playing them for free because I've bought the Pokemon games. I'm just using the emulator for the ease of recording and whatever, because uh, recording through a, a camera would be obviously decreased quality. And uh, for me, I think just generally plugging everything into a computer and just doing computer stuff is much easier rather than... Uh, okay, you don't battle us. Have we done this? I don't, we can't have done this because um, we didn't battle those other two trainers. So maybe you're just an actual battle battler, are you? I don't feel like battling you though, so I'm just going to keep on going through. 
But yeah, YouTubing with video games. Let's get back to the point. I always distract myself from uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, no items here. I, I always check the rocks for some reason. I guess it's my generation one roots that I have to check things. Um, were we meant to do something then? Because I know in my actual game, in my actual game that Bianca's still standing here. <laughs> and I seriously didn't know what to do with it. Maybe we have to go and do something else and then come back and... Oh, she just leaves us. Okay, maybe. Maybe we don't do that then. Uh, so we're here in Undella Town with a nice updated, sort of, nice updated digger, you know. Nice updated land site right here. Um, oh, that, that was quite convenient there. It just uh, ran out as soon as it got to the entrance there. Uh, so this is the underwater tunnel thing. Uh, I don't think we can go in there yet. We need to we need to do something. God, what is it? I completely forgot. Uh, so we can go a few different ways. And I think we've just got to battle a bunch of trainers and um, do that stuff. Uh, we have to get to Thingamajig Town because I'm so... Oh, but Lucid City. That's it. And, oh my god, back to the point. I keep, I keep losing track of what I'm saying. It is not a good thing. And I apologise. I just talk and talk and I forget what I'm talking about it. it's really bad uh, but yeah YouTubing with video games is basically just sort of free advertising for the companies of the video games because you know people still want to buy the video in fact people encouraged to buy the video game um, I'm pretty sure there's an item back here oh it's how do we get to that what I don't even care uh, back to the topic uh, yeah, so like video games when YouTubers do it, they sort of what make people want to buy the video games. I mean, I've had that before where I've wanted to buy a video game because of seeing someone on YouTube to buy it. So I think really Nintendo shouldn't be taking money from the people at all because first of all, it doesn't decrease their profits. And that's what I hate about copyright is the fact that the copyright was made so people don't, first of all, don't take your the right to view owning your own material from you and also people decreasing the amount of money you make from your material by you know distributing it for free or whatever and now I think that's both things are wrong and that's what copyright should be, should be for but the thing is especially with if you don't know Captain Sparkles is um, Minecraft style he's got that video taken down he completely resequenced the music made a massive music video on Minecraft um, version of Gangnam Style and that got taken down and I think that's wrong because it's not decreasing the money made from the original and it's not sort of taking the ownership away from the original it's supporting the original by making some fan whatever about it that's how like things like Minecraft started a lot of fan things were made in Minecraft and shared about Minecraft and that made it get famous I don't think without YouTube it could have got famous so I think a lot of games really do depend on YouTube I mean, the games that started before, like with Nintendo, that could survive without YouTube, like um, Zelda and whatever, what Nintendo actually now removing the money for, can survive without YouTube, but I think they don't realise it will suffer if it can't sustain itself on YouTube, because uh, it's got it's built into quite a big audience um, here in the community. And I feel like, you know, it's sort of gradually changed into this thing where... People now play it because they see people on YouTube playing it and play it together on YouTube. And now, if people aren't going to get paid for this, then like a lot of people's livelihoods depend on YouTubing. And uh, since they can't make money out of it, they're going to play. They're not going to play those games as much because you know, if you play those games, you're not going to get paid for it. So they're going to play games like Pokemon because, luckily for us, Pokemon isn't affected because uh, Pokemon is not directly merchandise or uh, not directly. And not merchandise, it's uh, I can't think of the word. It's not directly owned by po oh, by Nintendo, it's owned by the Pokemon Company, which is a different company that is now just associated with the Nintendo. They're now just sort of grouped and teamed up with Nintendo. And I really hope this doesn't branch out into the other parts of Nintendo and its uh, copyright uh, of its games because that would just suck if we all just didn't get paid. I mean, I don't get paid anyway because I don't have a partnership, but. I, mean, I guess I sort of want to eventually get paid. But anyway, back to the point. If you if you do have a Let's Play channel and do make money out of it and don't um, play any non-Nintendo based games uh, I, I completely forgot what I was going to say. That was really bad. But anyway, I feel for you and I, I really think Nintendo should change it. I think 
there must be a petition out somewhere that we can find and if I find it I will leave it I will put it on Twitter put it in the description because I, I think it's really wrong that Nintendo are doing this anyway enough about the rants about Nintendo uh, this isn't really like I wouldn't say depressing but just going on about Nintendo and copyright stuff so anyway thank you for watching next episode won't be so like talking about copyright stuff orientated I hope it will be more fun so I will see you then hopefully it won't take too long this time